entertainment purposes only. In this project, we are building the Ping Pong TIE Fighter. It's perfect for blasting targets and will cost you less than one galactic credit. We will need three plastic caps, one plastic bottle with cap, two thumbtacks, two markers with caps, one pen housing, 12 cotton swabs, two small balloons, 13 playing cards, and one ping pong ball. To begin solar wing assembly, trim 3 16th of an inch off the left and right side of 12 playing cards. Save the removed material. Use glue to assemble each solar wing using six modified play cards. Layer the cards three high with two cards per layer for a finished rectangle design. Repeat this step for an additional wing, then give them time to dry. Using one plastic bottle cap, trace the cap diameter onto the ping pong. Then with hobby knife, carefully cut the trace circle by slowly working the small knife along the added cutting line. Next, add an additional trace circle to the opposite side of the ping pong ball. Carefully remove that circle as well. After a prefit, add a circular bead of low temp hot glue around the cut edge. Then snap the cap into place creating the cockpit area. For built-in ammo storage, remove the threaded end of the plastic bottle. Trim the plastic for a snug fit and then add hot glue under the brim to secure the shortened neck into the second ping pong opening. For the two laser cannons, disassemble the pen housing and cut two cylinders two inches in length. Create the laser cannon mounts by drawing two rectangular cutting guides on the ping pong ball as shown, roughly the diameter width of the pen housing. And then remove both rectangles with a hobby knife. With scissors, cut the top off both balloons and then slide the removed ends onto the pen cylinders. Use tape to fasten them in place. With glue, mount both cannon assemblies with the fixed balloons towards the attached bottle openings. Additional glue can be added to fill in the gap. The wing attachment pylons will be constructed from two modified marker caps. To create mounts, add ink to the marker diameter to create a cutting template stamp. Press the ink end to the center of both bottle caps. With hobby knife, follow the ink line and remove both plastic circles. With scissors, shorten both marker caps to a length of one and a quarter inch, with one cut end flush with the molded top as shown. Insert the bottom of the modified cap through the cap opening, and then secure the assembly to the side of the ping pong ball. Repeat this step for the opposite side. Next, transform the remaining playing card into four small hectagons, two per wing. Then cut the soft ends off all the cotton swabs. Center the pin and hexagon assembly to the center of the wing. Then fasten two shortened cotton swabs to the top and bottom of the rectangle. Use the rectangle center and cotton swab ends as a guide to trim the tie wing. Then, with glue, add six card strips. Trim when dry. Repeat this pattern on the back side. Frame in the wing with four additional cotton swabs. Then, with scissors, trim the edges of the wing. Repeat the wing steps to create two identical wings. Use the attached push pins to fasten both wings to the center of the caps. Additional glue can be added. Small scraps of cards can be added for additional wing support and authentic detail. For the cockpit window, hot glue a bottle cap to the curved plastic on the remaining bottle. Use the scissors to cut around the cap, then snap the cap off the round window. The remaining pen scrap is added for the tie pilot and control panel. Use a permanent marker to draw the tie window frame detail, which is then glued into place. Your ping pong tie fighter is finished. Jazz it up, add paint. With tape, 
mask off the two added balloons, then spray in a well-ventilated area. Reattach the cockpit elements and use a black marker for solar wing details and additional details.